Energy sector has been hobbled by the coronavirus pandemic, and that is something we are seeing at the gas pumps. Consumer demand during spring break, a traditionally busy time for travel, simply isn't there. And while that might be helping with household budgets, with lower fuel prices, there could be long-term ramifications. 13 On Your Side's John Hogan explains. The price for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline has dropped to its lowest level in more than four years, and that price drop is expected to continue. But is that necessarily a good thing? Well, everything has to do with the fact that across the country, millions of Americans are sheltering at home, not going to school, not going to work. Uh, and barely getting out for really anything. Patrick DeHaan is with GasBuddy.com. He says data shows the average price of gasoline is $1.55 a gallon. Gasoline demand has plunged, and that means suddenly there's a huge disconnect between supply and demand. It's part of a broader economic freefall. Oil prices have tanked as a result of this being a global uh, pandemic. There are repercussions. One oil producer has already filed for bankruptcy. Oil companies will go uh, belly up and then U.S. production numbers fall and that leads us more susceptible uh, to global producers. DeHaan says he expects prices to continue to drop and not return to pre-pandemic levels for several months or even until the end of 2020. If prices remain this low for longer, uh, it's going to undermine our energy independence and could lead to a slingshot in gas prices down the road. DeHaan urges motorists not to try to hoard gasoline and he recommends bringing hand sanitizer with you when you fill up at the pumps. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.